Hello everyone, my name is Koni. I'm a fifth year medical student in Poland. Uh, welcome to another video. Um, so I recently went to um, CEEM 2023. So it's the Central European Emergency Medicine Congress. It's the 8th International Congress um, of Polish Society of Emergency Medicine. Um, it was a four day event. Um, it took place from May 11th to May 14th. Doctors from around the world and from around Poland came to present and also some doctors um, presented online um, in the conference hall. So the congress took place in BCTW, it's like a event center, um, there are exhibition halls there and also conference rooms. So the congress took place in the conference rooms. Some friends and I volunteered as congress helpers to help around the congress. So the evening before the congress started, uh, we met up in the event center with the organizers. So we are the English division students and there were also Polish division students. So together we had a meeting for around two hours. Um, it was conducted through Polish and we were very grateful for our friend for translating it for us. So it was like Polish first and then English and then Polish and English and so on. And the organizers showed us around the place where the Congress was going to be held. We discussed like tasks and um, the program run through. For example, one of the tasks would be to show the doctors where they need to upload their slides um, if they're presenting. The next morning we arrived at 7.45. Um, our first duty was to um, check the attendance for the participants for the workshop. Um, so there's a certain number um, of participants for each workshop and we needed to like uh, take their names off when they arrived. That made sure that the workshop wouldn't be too big and that everyone would have um, enough time for hands-on experience. So the workshop was an uh, ultrasound workshop. Mm, three, three of my friends were volunteers to be the patient. We um, practiced ultrasound on them. Um, but first, like uh, the doctor from America taught us. She had some slides. The most important for ultrasound is to know what a normal organ looks like or like what our body looks like when it's normal. So that's what she showed us first um, on the slides. There were three different workshops. There was trauma, chest and shock. And the American teacher led the workshop, but there were also two other doctors who, um, who also helped other participants. So there was three like little uh, stations. So one had a butterfly, uh, ultrasound which is like a portable ultrasound that you can use on your phone or iPad and then there were two ultrasound machines. During that time there was actually another workshop um, in the simulation center. Some of my friends went to that one and um, it's transesophageal echocardiogram. So it's like um, a, a scope, a camera with light and down through your esophagus to um, see the heart from a different perspective from different angles and um, my friend said that it was a great experience for them because um, they were able to try and you know um, experience it with the transesophageal echo um, you know because it's it's something for more experienced doctors and for like doctors who are trained to use them so for us as students, we rarely get that opportunity. Well, I'm a fifth year, I never touched one. <laughs> so it was great for them. So after the workshops, um, it was like around one o'clock, so it's lunchtime. So we, as volunteers, we got food truck um, coupon. So uh, we were able to go outside and there was one food truck there and there was one ice cream truck with slushy. So Anyways, we, we went to get food, um, there was like burrito burgers or like pita, um, I think wrap maybe, and also like food, food in a box. And so some of us got burritos, it was delicious, and some of my friends got um, pita and they also said it was very good. Uh, it was like the highlight, but of course the emergency medicine was like very important, but food was delicious. After food, after lunch, um, the Congress officially started at two o'clock. Um, so on that Thursday, there were two sessions uh, of presentations and 
there was a coffee break in between. Each session was about um, one and a half hours long and there would be about like five presentations and each presentation would be like 15 or 20 minutes. And then it ended that day around 6 p.m. but there was like an opening ceremony that day but us as students we we left after the presentation so for the coffee break um there were like water tea coffee um biscuits and cakes uh, one thing i'm surprised that there was no fruit there were also like medical companies there um with displays and they had their products um one had a mechanical um cpr machine um, another one had like uh, biomarker detectors. Anyways, on Friday and Saturday, uh, we started at nine o'clock and there are two conference rooms. The main one had translation. So translation was through headphones and there were headphones um, at the door of the main conference room. And uh, we as students, we, you know, whoever's on duty would um, hand them out to those who needed it. So. If the presentation was in English, it would be translated to Polish through the headphones and vice versa. I was on the headphone duty for one of the afternoons and so three students would rotate so that we would be able to sit in, in the presentations. Okay, so there was a main conference room and then there was another room um, and on Friday it was a poster session. So students who had like original research paper that they wrote or they had a case report that they wanted to present. Uh, so they presented uh, on Friday and that was for one session and then the other sessions were like um, other topics in that room on saturday there was young doctors session and um so young doctors um who registered to um, present their case studies or something like that interesting cases so same that was one session and then there were other sessions were other topics so there were four sessions in a day uh, in between two sessions, um, there was a, a lunch and then in between each session, there was like a coffee break. So that day ended at 6 p.m. also. Okay, so each session has a general topic, for example, trauma management. And then uh, in that session, there were presentations about, for example, geriatric injuries. Um, there was one about um, trauma and coagulopathy treatment and then another session general topic was about communication another topic was about toxicology one that surprised me was battlefield medicine i i know there of course is like medicine around you know wars and things but um we're not taught in school so it was very interesting uh to hear about it and uh, emergency medicine in clinical practice had three sessions of course it was like the chunk of the congress but like everything <clears throat> everything is like needed you know everything was like useful to know and to apply to our you know studies or career um overall it was an awesome experience something that i didn't think I would get to experience. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity um, for my doctor. And we were able to talk with professors um, from around Poland and from other countries. Uh, we were able to meet some new friends um, from Gdańsk, they are English division students also, they came to present in the poster session. I'm very proud of them. So we made some new friends. Um, it was a real honor to listen to presentations from professors, uh, from other doctors, and it was like a present given to us. If you're in the medical field uh, or in medical studies, um, keep an eye out for these conferences or congresses and um, take part. Um, if you can, it will benefit you in your career and in your studies. You get to see um, lots of different things that you usually won't see just throughout your medical school. Uh, you'll meet a lot of different people and uh, you can build connections. Um, you can learn things from them, from their experience, and you can also share yours as well. Um, of course, have fun um, during learning.
Um, for outfits in the Congress, it was like a uh, little bit formal but also casual as well. Uh, for those who were presenting, came with shirts um, and dress. Um, but it was also fine if there was like a shirt with jeans or something like that. And it was a mix. For myself, I wore um, this outfit, um, white shirt with a, a skirt and um, tights. For these events, I would wear like um, tights. And I also had a navy um, long dress um, with a brown belt. And the last one was a blazer with um, a navy um, dress also. Wear what's comfortable because um, it was in a big event center so we were walking around a lot um, the place is very big um, if you're wearing heels um, you can bring spare shoes um, to change with you um, so that it won't be very painful for the whole day that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if there if you have any questions do leave me a comment below please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and see you next time bye stay safe Thank you.